Beck Avenue in historic St. Andrews is my favorite part of Panama City, even more so now that Los Antajitos is here, a restaurant designed by name for this show. Los Antajitos means appetizers in Spanish, which is basically small cravings that you love, good things in small packages. That's a better title than the title of my show. That's perfect. Um, we're actually at the newer location of the restaurant. It's been around since the 80s, but this one opened at the end of 2016. And in between locations, you took a pretty exciting road trip with your family. We did. We were blessed to have the opportunity to spend 101 days on the road in an RV, traveling the country, basically on a quest for fish tacos, all Mexican food, but fish tacos was our main concern. And I know some of the dishes that you tried inspired things that are on the menu now so people can sample a little bit of your adventures. Tell us about like maybe one combination that's, that, that came from that trip. When we were visiting some friends in Wyoming, they had some leftover lobster. And so we, tried, we perfected our fried lobster with the cilantro aioli, which we now incorporated with the mango slaw, which is our lobster tacos now. And then our friend was featuring a margarita with fresh muddled cilantro and mint. And it was the most refreshing, delicious margarita I've ever had. So it is now the Rafael. Rafael with the lobster tacos. Well, I can't, ha I can't wait to have some antejitos in a moment. All right. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your first antejito might be the beef and cheese empanadas. The family has spent time in Argentina, so this recipe is really fine-tuned right from the source. I love the street corn. This small dish is so authentically Mexican and so fantastic that it's worth a trip here all for itself. This shrimp ceviche is one of their signature dishes and Matt describes it as a Mexican shrimp cocktail. Delicious and also accommodating of special dietary needs, here are the popular salmon tacos. The fish is blackened and served with pickled red cabbage, radish and a cilantro aioli. It's shown with the option of lettuce leaves instead of tortilla. The pretty purple beverage beside it is the Blackberry Smash, a margarita featuring blackberries and Pim's elderflower, as well as the citrus and tequila. For dessert, this is the Loco Moco Pie, a coconut crust with mocha ice cream and Kahlua, and it's made right here. The margaritas are culinary delights all on their own, with fresh fruits and savory elements as well, like herbs and jalapenos. There's also a great selection of specialty tequilas if you prefer sipping or doing shots. Hey, you can even get a little private bottle for the table. This newer location has plenty of seating options. It's great for big and even private parties. This patio overlooking a lake is where local bands play and it might just be the best place to sit and spend an entire evening. Look how many options you get to try when you dine this way. Sampling from the beginning part of the menu, mixing and matching things, having great drinks alongside. I'm enjoying this show so much, I hope you are too. We've still got a couple more picks to go.